Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the biggest news in the animation industry uh, this week is all of these uh, white voice actors stepping down from black roles. Uh, so we're gonna. Are they stepping down willingly? I don't think they are. Okay. I'm just. I'm. I'm I've got a. I've got a theory. I've got a theory. People love my theories, right? They always tell me. Hey, I'm, let's let's fight racism by being more racist. Let's talk about that because this is a this is a very complicated situation. Uh, because what's going on is you have a lot of like very very far left media outlets saying that a white person or a non-black person voicing a black character is akin to blackface. Okay, so if you have the same color people, like, you know, black people, white people voicing Asian characters, is that like, you know, being racist because you're pretending to be Asian? Well, we'll talk about that. If you have uh, if you have redhead characters that you uh, race bend or have different voice actors voice for it that aren't redheads, is that okay? We're going to talk about that because that's one of the beautiful things I thought about being a voice actor. And that's, I'm going to bring up a quote actually from... Uh, Cree Summer, person mm -hmm. of color, who's voiced many characters. Oh, it doesn't matter because they, 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 they have to be told what to think by the white people. Well, okay. <laughs> that, that could be too. Because I think this was I think this was a political move by Netflix. Um, I don't I don't know if she stepped down willingly or, or what happened, but it led to Kristen Bell stepping down from a role. Did she uh, step down or tell her she was fired? I think they they got rid of her. Because they don't clarify that. They just say exit. Well, yeah, Kristen Bell is now they defended her fiercely just a couple of months ago and now they're throwing. Oh, no, she was in trouble because her and her husband owned uh, own uh, apartments oh. and they were in trouble for that because, you know, and she was apartments. going out of her way to get to be helpful. People during the, the, the coronavirus issue yeah. and trying to delay uh, payments and things to work with people. Uh, but as soon as this whole idea came up that if you own property, you're supposed to just hand it over to people for free because, you know, you should. Um, then she was bad again. Oh God! Okay, I can't keep I can't keep track of what we're supposed to be outraged from day to day. So this happened. Just be mad at time, and then you're covered. Just go to Twitter and be mad about everything all the time, and and be covered. So this broke yesterday. Now Big Mouth is a pretty raunchy show. It's on Netflix. I watched the trailer for it, and I'm like, hell no. There's a, I've never watched. There's a lot of naughtiness going on. So you're gonna have to forgive me. I don't watch the show, uh, but apparently. Uh, Jenny Slate, a white actress, was playing a biracial character, and she stepped down from the role in light of these trying times. Do they not understand what biracial means? Um, well, I'm going to address that because they, they actually have a defense for that on Pajiba that basically is if you're biracial, you're supposed to default to the POC side, not the white side. Because they said so. Because Pajiba said so, yes. Uh, okay, okay. Because I, yes. I mean, apparently they don't understand what the definition of biracial is. Yeah. Don't be racist unless you're the one being told, or they tell you what to be racist about. Then you can be racist because they said it's okay to be racist. Because clearly people don't understand what the definition of racism means anymore. Mm. And it's ridiculous. Racism is racism. And we're always against on this show. We've been since day one. Yeah, and I want to talk about you know, like the benefits of actually being a voice actor, just in general, because you can you know play characters so far removed from yourself, and that doesn't matter your gender, your skin color, whatever. But you can see already uh, trending James Earl Jones because you know he played Anakin, uh, and uh, Bart Simpson played by a woman, a middle-aged white woman, plays a little boy. How very dare she! And this happens all the time, and no one cared. Um, yeah, so I just want to roll the clock back a little bit. Let's go before we talk about this instance and uh, Jenny Slate, who not only stepped down, which look, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, her personal convictions are her personal convictions. If, if she felt convicted, she felt like she shouldn't be playing this character and she stepped down, that's one thing, but they, they turned it into such a sideshow. Well, Such not just that. Now, because she stepped down, everybody has to, to to step down because she did. And that's if she personally wants, like you said, wants to do that. That's up to her. But right, you can't right. you can't tell everybody else to stay in their own lane because one person did that. And then you can't have this double standard. If you're yelling for stay in your own lane, then everybody has to stay in their own lane. Gosh, what a boring world this is. Well, that's that's what the potential uh, side effect of this could be because it has snowballed. I mean, just from being like one actress you know, stepping down from a role because they turned it into such a media sideshow. Like we got, we can't just do it quietly. Like, yeah, you know what guys, I'm feeling pretty bad about this. Let's not do this. No, no, we have to make a big, big to do on social media, which leads to uh, a domino effect. 
And the next thing you know, like you said, everybody is going to be staying in their own lane, which is actually going to hurt people for roles. Because one of the best things about being a voice actor is that you could literally be anybody. Right. Any kind of person. Uh, and, and you weren't limited by what you look like, your age. I mean, we have characters that are older playing younger characters. This happens a lot in anime. You have you know, people who are in their 40s and 50s voicing like 20 year olds mm -hmm. in anime. That's a problem, too. We're going to talk about anime. But I, I just want to pull up this quote by Cree Summer, very distinguished voice actress. Mm -hmm. She's been around for years. She was on uh, Different World, spinoff of The Cosby Show. She was Penny on Inspector Gadget. She's She's been a lot of different characters, right? This quote, I think, is great. Uh, one reason she loves voice acting is because she's free to be anything she wants. A black girl, a white girl, even an inanimate object. She felt that as a black actress, the best she could ever hope for would be to play a white woman's black best friend. Um, and a lot of you would be surprised how many people of color. Um, this is Rainbow Bright. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, this is this is Rainbow Bright. Yep. Um, so nobody knew. When I was a kid, I wasn't watching Rainbow Bright or Inspector Gadget thinking to myself, gosh, I wonder if it's actually a little blonde girl that and plays. And you know what? When, when you found, if you would have found out, would you have cared? No. No! Wouldn't have cared! I didn't even know Darth Vader was, well, yeah, I was a kid, I didn't know Darth Vader was a black guy until I got older. I'm like, oh, it's a guy who does Mufasa. That's yeah. cool. Or actually, I, I was coming to America first. <laughs> oh, coming like, to America. Oh, that sounds oh no, that's right. That's the first time. Yeah, because, you know, I was, I was pretty young when Star Wars came out. So I remember watching, I'm like, why does Eddie Murphy's dad sound like Darth Vader? Mm-hmm. And I was like, because oh my he, God. No one cared. <laughs> I mean, you remember what? back in the day where no one cared? And, oh. it, you know, it wasn't it wasn't as ridiculous as it is like now because it's absolutely ridiculous. Uncle Phil was Shredder on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. Uh, by the How way. dare he? How dare he? And uh, Phil Lamar was Samurai Jack. And I want to point out, Phil Lamar is a pretty awesome dude. We had pancakes yes, with Phil did. Lamar. Yes, we did. This is a true story. We had pancakes with Phil Lamar. Uh, very, very back cool Back when guy. we were allowed to be invited to events because, you know... <laughs> yeah, back when we were allowed uh, to be invited you know, to You know, we were actually invited to, to conventions because we were... We did comics and we, you know, we're, we're, I've always been reasonable. We have not changed anything about where we stand. We've always been the same. Um, we used to, you know, be at these conventions and hang out with people. And, yeah, he was in there eating pancakes and we were eating. It was no big deal. And, you know... He put syrup on his pancakes just like everybody else. Although... So I, I don't do syrup. I don't like it. I think Phil Lamar, since he was like, he was a different caliber of guest, I think they had like a special hideout for the... Well, they did for, yeah. For the A-list celebrities. But, we, and then, but he was hanging out with everybody because he didn't, he wasn't... He, he wasn't, was a very cool guy. He wasn't being a dick. And the thing is, it's like, but he voices all kinds of characters. No one cares. Um, yeah. There's all kinds of, of actors. There's women that voice uh, boys. There's all kinds of uh, actors that are, no matter different, whatever color, black, white, whatever. They voice um, anime characters. They're not Japanese. How dare they? Well, I want to. I just want to throw this up because I know Yellow Flash. What he's getting at here, he put this out on Twitter yesterday, talking about how Funimation um, uses primarily white actors to voice Asian and black characters. Are they going to change they? that? Mm -hmm. Are they going to change that? And that is true because you know you look at you look at almost all the voice actors for anime, and they're they're white people. So that doesn't even matter what voice fits the character best. It matters, you know, you have to be that exact person. How limiting is that going to be for so many people? That's the thing, and that's what you know. I I, I agree hundred percent with Cree Summer, where you're not limited. And you look at you know even this article on Phil Lamar from Comic Book Resources from just a couple of weeks ago, talked about how. Actors have had a renaissance because, you know, you can't see the actor. You just hear the voice. So you've got, you know, people like Mark Hamill, who, you know, he's not going to be called for action roles, you know, at, mm -hmm. at his age. But he can still voice the Joker. Right. He can still, if they would ever do an animated Star Wars and they needed Luke Skywalker's voice, he, I'm sure he right. could do Mark the voice. Mark Hamill's actually really good. I mean, he can pull off a lot of different voices. Yeah, and it, and this led a lot of people, like you said, when they were older, they still had opportunities. And yeah. people, it didn't matter what race you were, what gender you were, it still had opportunities. Um, this is stupid. Yeah, so I think, again, this is going to be, I, I, this is where I'm, I'm kind of going to be sort of sort of fair here. I understand her intentions. Yes. I, I, I get it. I get the intentions. I, I, I have to admit, we talked about before we started recording, we're like, in this day and age, why would you cast a white girl to play a black girl? Because you know there's going to be there's going to be pushback. But that's been going on before this happened. Yeah, but no, no, no. I'm saying just in the, you know, because the show's only a couple of years old. 
Yeah, I know, but this whole thing has gotten really bad in this last couple months. Right, and they've had to defend the decision. Even with Kristen Bell, they cast Kristen Bell. Now, this, this is a new show. It's not premiered yet, I guess. It's uh, the guy who did Bob's Burgers. Right, and, because how dare you have a biracial character played by one of the races that they, they represent when they should only be represented by one. I'm thinking it's because, hey, we, we can get Kristen Bell, and that's a selling point. I think that's probably why they hired her, too. Yeah. But, you, but I'm just saying, if you're a biracial character, you are, you know, half of whatever of each race you are. So, I mean, like, that could be different races. But this is ridiculous that only one counts. Yeah, so let's let's talk about um, this. She stepped down, and she didn't just step down. This is the thing that, that kind of got me. She didn't just step down. She, like, put this big manifesto. manifesto God, they always So this do. is this kind of reminds me, and I'm going to be honest, you know, the, the virtue signaling going on in Hollywood right now reminds me of religion. Very but, much so, yes. Uh, not only is there, like, a, a, a uh, propensity to snitch on your peers to make yourself look better, because, like, I'm not as big a sinner as you are. You're the yeah. bigger sinner than I am. But when you get caught or when you feel uh, guilty about something that you may or may not feel guilty about, you have to really drag it out. Like, you have to you have to wail. You have to tear your sleeves. You have you to got, lay flat on the ground for everyone. Flop like a fish and just be so, so sorry. And then, you know, beg and beg and beg your peers for forgiveness. It's very uh, religious -y. Uh, in my opinion. So this is her thing. She didn't just say, hey, I'm just stepping down because I, I thought it was the right thing to do. And then we had to have uh, the, the showrunners put a big, full-throated apology out there, too. So Jenny Slate says, I've come to the decision today that I can no longer play the character of Missy on Big Mouth. At the start of the show, I reasoned with myself that it was permissible for me to play Missy because her mom is Jewish and white, as am I. But Missy is also black, and black characters on an animated show should be played by black people. Says the, the white woman. Yeah. <laughs> I acknowledge how my original reasoning was uh, flawed, that existed as an example of white privilege and unjust allowances made within a system of societal white supremacy, and that in me playing Missy, I was engaging in an act of erasure of black people. Not really, because the character is still biracial. It's a cartoon. Ending my portrayal of Missy is one step in a lifelong process of uncovering the racism in my actions. Holy God! As I look back I on the, even. as I look back on the nature and emergence of my own voice in comedy, I know that I have made mistakes along the way. I've I've tried to be funny, and we're not allowed to be funny anymore. I can't change the past, but I can take accountability for my choices. I will continue to engage in meaningful anti-racist actions to be thoughtful about the messages in my work. So we're not going to be funny anymore because we might offend somebody. Uh, to be curious and open to feedback and to do my best to take responsibility for the ways I am part of the problem. Most importantly, though, to anyone I've hurt, I'm so very sorry. Black voices must be heard. Black lives matter. She's been doing the role for, what, three or four years now? Um, I think there was a little bit of pushback, but not a lot. People thought it was kind of weird they would cast. Why is it weird? She's a biracial character. That's what's so weird. If she was completely like a, a, she was a completely black character and there was no biracial whatever in there. Okay, maybe I can see it. But she was a biracial character whose well, mother was white and Jewish. When I'm saying, so I'm just like, when I'm saying that people said it was weird, I'm talking about Twitter. Yeah. Twitter said it was weird a couple of years ago when they cast her. Uh, so apparently there's been... Now, I don't know. I'll be honest, because, you know, I don't uh, follow this show because it's raunchy as hell. Uh, I don't follow it. But I don't know if there's been a lot of controversy attached to it. I don't know. But beyond that, this whole thing's stupid because now they're calling for, like, now everybody's supposed to just, you know, stay in your lane. That kind of, one, defeats the purpose of acting. I mean, that's the whole idea of acting. Uh, and two, it's like, well, then if you're going to make people stay in their lane, if they're one race or gender, then you must demand people stay in their lane for all races and genders. Otherwise, you're being uh, as racist as you claim everybody else is being. So now it means that, you know, we have a lot of uh, people that shouldn't be playing parts that they're playing. And it's, and it's just ridiculous and downright stupid because, you know what? If I don't care if a black person voices a white character, don't care. I don't care. If they're doing it's good job the character, don't care. I, I don't care if an Asian person voices a white character or a white person voices an Asian character. It happens in anime all the time. Or, you know, I, I don't care. Most Mark people Hamill. don't 
care. Mark this Ham is stupid. Is Mark Hamill going to offer a full throat apology for cultural appropriation because he he played the big bad in Avatar? Uh, you, know, I? you know what? Um, you, when you say full throat apology, that just sounds wrong. What is a full throat apology? A full throat apology is when you 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 Open take your throat real wide to make sure you can fit it all swallow in. Swallow everything. Yes. I'm like, uh, all the I'm guilt. like, I'm like, I keep saying that. I'm like, that's I'm, okay. that's just so they can they can put as much guilt in in your mouth. Oh, with guilt. Okay. As will fit. All right, that's what you're saying. So guilt. so here's where it gets really. And again, she made oh, her gag statement. My reflex is kicking in. Yeah, I know. She she made her statement. She if she again, her decision. If she feels guilty about it and she wants to quit. Right. That's up to her. That is 100% up to her, right? They could have done it without it being a big production, but now we've got to get the showrunner in there, too. Oh, God. After thoughtful discussion with us and our black collaborators, Jenny Slate has decided, and we wholeheartedly agree, that Missy on Big Mouth should be voiced by a black actor. Again, a biracial character. They fired her. I think they fired her. Biracial character, guys. Yeah. We sincerely apologize for and regret our original decision to cast a white actor to voice a biracial character. We made a mistake. We took our privilege for granted. We're working hard to do better moving forward. We're proud of the representation that Missy has offered cerebral, sensitive women of color, and we plan to continue that representation and further grow Missy's character as we recast a new black actor to play her. We thank Jenny for her decision and for creating with us an inspiring, compassionate, and human character. We look forward to being able to explore Missy's story with even greater authenticity in the years to come. I think they fired her. I think they fired her because they were afraid of pushback. Well, they're going to have to hire somebody else. It should be a biracial actor. Yeah, absolutely. We all... And their mom has to be white and Jewish. This reminds me of uh, Ruby Rose. Remember all the pushback that Ruby Rose got because she wasn't gay enough to be Batwoman and she wasn't Jewish. Mm -hmm. And Kate Kane's supposed this to be is, Jewish. This is absolutely stupid. This is, here's the thing. This is going to open up Pandora's box because it's not going to stop here. You know it's not going to stop here because what's going to happen is, uh, again, we're going to have people being typecast, being like, you can only play characters who look like yourself so they I have to be there are a lot of, of actors that don't have a lot of characters that rep they're representative of well that's again back to what Cree summer was playing she's like i loved it because basically i could be anybody you know i love voice acting because i could be anybody and i think it's the the unintentional side effect is going to be i think you're going to limit the roles for people of color no no because apparently that what's going to happen is it's going to be a one-way street white people can only play white characters but but ethnic people can play whatever they want to play that's how it's going to go down you watch it and honestly i have absolutely zero problem with a black person playing a white person i don't care it's been happening I, for years yeah i don't it's care at all i mean um, I, I, some people that's they're the best person for the job I mean, let them have the job. Sure. And how many people are getting offended that are people of color that are tired of, 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 of frankly, these white people telling, you know, making these big shows and acting the way they are and, and, and you know, putting the voices into their mouths, no pun intended, um, you know, and by, by, by their opinions? Uh, quite a few, actually, because here's the thing. We actually do have uh, quite a few people of color who follow Clownfish TV. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. And we've actually, believe it or not, we've got gay people and everything. Yeah, I know, right? All kinds of people follow it's us. It's like Reason is genderless and it has no gender, has no race, has, you know, Reason is for everyone. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot of chatter because there are, you know, there's a huge uh, fandom, anime and animation uh, fandom, mm -hmm. people of color. And they've been talking about this. I've been kind of watching the conversation on Twitter, too. And people are like, why are, why are these white people making such a big deal about this? Right. Why it's are they, ridiculous. You know, and it's mostly like even here, the fist bumps they're getting, we're getting from. A, a white lady. Notice how it's on Twitter, too. It's on Twitter. Imagine that. Stop listening to freaking Twitter. Now, here's the thing. If there had been like, and I think this this whole thing started with a poo on The Simpsons. For some, somehow, somehow, uh, we were able to sneak a poo by for 30 years. And, and you know, people had concerns about it, but it wasn't like outrage. And then one day there was all kinds of outrage over a poo and a poo's snapped he's gone and they're talking they're calling for a poo to come back and be cast as an indian actor which i you know it's whatever they want to do instead they just wrote him off the show pretty mm -hmm. much as far as i can tell and i think they're going to wrap the simpsons up here pretty soon mercy killing it's uh 20 seasons too long but that's kind of where i think all this started again back in the 80s everybody was playing everybody and nobody 
Well, I just want to know what they're going to do about when they have characters that are like dragons or something. Where the hell are you going to get a real dragon to voice a dragon? God. So this is this is a true story, too. Um, so we did a couple of the animated pitches and we were actually trying to source some voice actors uh, for some other pitches. The one pitch we did, mm -hmm. um, we actually well, we actually did a, a short segment with our character as, as a youngster. He's got a British accent. The kid who wound up playing him was actually from India. He had a British accent. Oh, was that? And then we were looking to source our character as an adult. We were looking to, listening to voices, not looking at the faces, so just the voices. And the person who had the best voice for the character was a black guy. The yeah. character's white. He's, he's yeah, he's a 20-something, early 20-something uh, British, kind of a Carrie Elway's character. And he was perfect. And, and the voice actor was an older black guy. I was like, he's perfect. I don't care. You Didn't know, care. He is the character. And um, so that's the thing. And that's, again, that's the beauty of voice acting. And I'm afraid what is going to happen is that this the side effect is going to be that everybody's going to have to stay in their own lane. Even in cartoons where, you know, it, you're, you're wide open. You can do, you can play whatever character you want to play. But, so there's going to be, there's going to be a purge and they're going to go through and basically like race correct all the, the characters. I mean, I would say going forward, you might want to think about it, but if it shows already on the air and then it makes such a big deal about it. I don't think like, you should think of it. I think it should be whoever's best to the job. And if it happens to be a white character and a black voice actor is the best character or best actor's voice for the job, then hire them. I think it shouldn't, I think moving forward, it shouldn't be an issue. I think it should still be the same. If, whatever's best for the job. If a white character has a black voice actor and that's the best voice voice actor for the job, then by all means, keep it that way. If a, a black character has an Asian voice actor who's the best voice actor for the job, by all means, keep it that way. This is absolutely ridiculous and stupid because I think you're limiting and hurting people more than you think you're going to limit and hurt people. Because frankly, like a lot of these voice actors do anime voices and there's not a lot of, uh, like other than being, you know, like light skinned or Asian, there's not a lot of diversity in some of these, these gigs. And so it's going to really limit a lot of actors. It's not fair. You're actually har harming these actors by behaving this way. Well, Pajiba disagrees with you fiercely. Pajiba can suck it. Uh, Pajiba, Pajiba calls it animated blackface. Okay, so what about when black actors do white characters or well, Asian characters? Well, they said that it's it's uh, it doesn't work in reverse, according to Pajiba. Well, no, it never does. They keep saying racism doesn't work in reverse, and like like hell, it doesn't. This is I'm I'm so sick of it. It's this is stupid. We're going this is stupid backwards again. Uh, Penny, Inspector Gadget. Yeah, we Ra are going backwards. Rainbow Bright, Shredder, Samurai Jack. The list goes on. That's just the first uh, the first few I could think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, we're 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 actually going backwards, and it's almost like uh, we're pushing for. You know, I hate to say it, but almost like segregation in animation where you can only play characters that look like you. That's that's ridiculous. And that's going to hurt everybody. That it's going to hurt everyone. It's going to hurt fans, too, because it's like you're, you might not get the best voice for the role because the first thing they're going to do is be like, well, are you the right color? Oh, right that's, not, that's not enough. You have to be the right religion. You have to be the right, you know, sexual orientation. Right. Bat that's going to limit it awfully. It's going to make an awful short list for some of these characters. Batwoman, um, prime example. I mean, you know, when you, you've got a queer actress who i mean look realistically where are you gonna find a queer actress a queer jewish actress who also knows like kung fu and can do her own stunts and all this other mm. where are you gonna find that that looks the part too that looks the part um so they got ruby rose who most people thought it uh, initially was probably the best casting choice they could get uh you know you can argue whether or not her acting's okay but i mean she was in movies and stuff and uh, they had a fit because she wasn't Jewish and she wasn't gay enough. Right. They don't understand acting. This this reminds me of Galaxy Quest when they're trying to explain acting to the aliens mm -hmm. and the aliens don't understand. And they're like, oh, so you're liars, you know, mm -hmm. and you're lying to me. It's like, no, it's acting. And that's the thing. They don't. It's like reasoning with children. You know, we, you don't understand that these people aren't the characters. They're playing. They're just playing the role. Why are you insulting children like that? I because there are some pretty smart kids out there. Uh, so I don't know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. It will be interesting to see if they start purging uh, anime voice actors because the majority of them are white, you know, playing Asian characters, black characters. Uh, we'll see. We'll I see. I mean, I'm all for diversity. Bring on the diversity when it comes yeah. to voice acting. I 100% have no problem with it. Never have. 
Um, but this is just stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, just a couple of months ago, they they were even the showrunner for Kristen Bell for this this upcoming show, Central Park. They were defending the decision. Um, this is this is how they tried to explain it. This is just like three or four months ago. Uh, this is uh, Lauren B Bouchard. Is that the guy? He does uh, Bob's Burgers too. Kristen needed to be Molly. We couldn't not make her Molly. Well, apparently they could, but we couldn't make Molly white and we couldn't make Kristen mixed race. So we just had to go forward. And then we arrived there and said, well, we just got to keep doing the best we can do the balance to turn around and give somebody the opportunity who wasn't getting it. A commitment to diversity isn't an odd job. It's a commitment to making stuff better. Uh, he explained that he relied on Central Park actor and executive producer Josh Gad. On Josh Gad's friends with Kristen Bell. Yeah, right. Uh, we cast first. In this case, it was building a bunch of characters around Josh Gad. We just said, who are your friends? Well, yeah, because they, they are friends in real life. Who do you want to work with? Um, you know, so he had to basically ex explain himself, explain his decision. And, uh, you know, and this is just a couple months ago. But now she's out. First, it was like she's the best choice because her voice fits the character the best. And now it's like, nah, she's too white. She's, she's the out. best choice because she was famous. I mean, let's be honest. And friends but, with Josh Gad. So, <laughs> you know. But, you know so but she's out. She's out. And I think a lot of actors are going to get I out. I just think there needs to be balance. There, there is no such thing as balance. Not Twitter. Just stop listening to Twitter. The best thing that could happen for everybody on planet Earth is for Twitter to just blow up. Just Twitter, just stop just shut twitter down and i think you would see everybody would be a lot happier i agree all right so we're gonna wrap this one up yep okay so please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll talk later bye hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.